Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. In the last episode, we made our way to Karnak, the city of the Fire Crystal. And we've learned that uh, they've, uh, their crystal is cracking, so fire is spreading throughout the kingdom. And uh, apparently the Fire Crystal is within the Steamship, as it's called in this translation. It's the Fire Ship in every other version of the game I played. But yeah, we also managed to get the Shiva Asper at the end of last episode. We made a return trip to Warus to, you know, get that out of the way. You gotta get that done as soon as you can because eventually the story won't allow you to return to get that crystal, or that Asper. Yeah, the crystal's long gone. Alright, but let's go into the steamship. Oh, and there's Sid. Yep, we met Sid last time. I've been waiting for you. As I thought, this ship is sucking away at the power of the fire crystal. Or the crystal of fire. The engine is. Yes. If the engine isn't stopped immediately, the crystal will shatter. Will you go? Um. Yep. Apparently so. Oh, he's taking us by the hand. You can enter from here. Monsters have gotten inside, huh? Figures. It's an RPG. Of course, monsters get in everywhere. They're like... They're like bugs. There's nothing up here. I'm sure somewhere in this ship you could probably get a world map if you failed to get it over in uh, the ship gra graveyard. Alright, and we are inside steamship. Something of a maze. A mithril glove, what does that do? Oh god, jeez. Alrighty, let's see. Uh, mithril glove. Here we go. Uh, uh. Oh, just a piece of uh, armor for uh, the hands of uh, your warrior types. Uh, you know, I'm gonna leave the glasses on Bards. Goliath almost has spell learning mastered. Once I got that, I could switch him out of from that job class and give it over to Lena. Lena's the last character I need to uh, learn how to do spell learning, and eventually I'll start teaching people a little bit more, Blue Mage. Alright, we got Crew Dust and Defeater. Defeaters are the uh, things flying in the background there. Cool Dust has a black ma a blue mage spell I need to learn. If I, don't, if I don't learn it in this fight, I'll learn it in, in another one. So I'm not too worried about it. They're plentiful in this dungeon, so I'm sure I'll learn it eventually. <laughs> But yeah, rods do kind of a random amount of damage. Sometimes it does pretty decent, and other times it, it might even do zero. It's very inconsistent. Oh, we got a motor trap. These guys have a spell I want to learn too. But I killed it. All right, well. Let's try that again when Lena gets her... Actually, uh... Nah, that's gonna take too long. Alright, hopefully it doesn't counterattack the caster. Alright, awesome. Two ability points. We learned Exploder. It's not a spell I ever intend to use, mind you, but... We got an elixir. But it's it's blue magic. We've got a slot filled in that spell bar. Some more crew dust and a defeater. And no damage. When it makes that little ting sound, it means it doesn't do any damage at all, even before you see the number. All right, let's see if we can get the crew dust by themselves. They'll be more willing to uh, cast their spell. I'm normally not very eager for him to do this, but 
one time is enough for me. Get everybody to defend. So come on. There we go. Alright, I'm pretty sure Ferris still has a spell learning equipped. Oh yeah, I stocked up on some stuff. Uh, yeah, we learned Flash. I stocked up on some uh, eye drops off off camera. I think that was back when I went to Warus. That cures the darkness status ailment, which impairs your uh, accuracy. All right, I think that's all the blue magic I can learn here. That I, but uh, I don't know 100% for sure. The defeaters might have an arrow spell, but I already have arrow one. They want to blast me if arrow two. I'm okay with that. Preemptive attack. Yeah, I'll start cutting these out shortly. Or at least a couple, one or two more new faces to see in this dungeon. I figured I wasn't quite done talking yet, so I might as well just leave that in. Alright, Goliath has spell learning. Let's switch him over to something else. I'll make Lena a blue mage after, well, there's no more blue magic to be had in this place. Alright, I'll, I'll wait to turn Lena into a blue mage until toward the end of the dungeon. Alrighty, um, guess I'll put Goloth back on healing detail. Put spell learning there. I'm going to equip the healing rod. I'm gonna stick him in the back row. Anytime he hits somebody with that healing staff, as I've said, I think last time, it automatically casts Cure 2 on the target, whether it's friend or foe. Got a cabin. A very, very tiny cabin to be stuffed in that treasure chest. And a defeater. This, this is gonna be so short, might as well just leave it in. He's dead. Ah, crap. Oh, wait, what did I do that for? I just cured him. That was stupid. <laughs> I am not used to having... I'm gonna be honest, I'm not used to using the, the healing staff in any game. Electromagnetic magnetic field. Uh, I'm gonna... Gullif, hit yourself! There we go. Doesn't cost any MP to uh, use that. I guess Lena's been stopped with that attack. Wonder if it only works on uh, characters that are carrying metallic items. Is this the right way? Not 100% sure, so let's see what's down this staircase. Okay, that fight was embarrassing. I kept having Goloth attack the enemies with the healing staff by mistake. I kept undoing the damage that I dealt, but Lena's learned Black Mage level 3, so I think now I'm just going to switch her over to, let's see, do I want to do Time Mage yet, or, eh, I might as well just get her started on Blue Mage, give her some Black Magic to go with that. Yeah, it'll work. Oh, wait, 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 somebody's got to be wearing a... Somebody needs an elf cape. I'll give that to Gala since he's healer. Healer. Okay, yep. Once Lena learns spell learning, everybody's gonna have the uh, potential to learn blue ma blue magic spells when they're hit by it, as long as I have the learning ability equipped. Not sure if that carries over into the normal job class or not. I don't think everything carries over without being equipped. But yeah, and Ferris got reached level 2, or, yeah, I guess it's level 2 of Mystic Knight, so she can cast level 1 sword magic on her own now. But anyway, what's down here? Alright, we got an elixir, and we can't go that way. And we got a new enemy, a, a poltergeist. <laughs> One really creepy looking monster design, by the way. Look at that thing. It's like 
Its face is ripping right off the skull. That's just disturbing. <laughs> but it's gone now. Galif gained a level, Ferris gained a level. Alright. Nothing more here, so let's move back over to that elevator. And Lena leveled up. Alright, flip the switch here. And we're going up higher. This is a very high-tech ship. Despite the uh, very wooden exterior that we saw before. I don't know how they managed to pull off this kind of design. Alright, we got another elevator. This time we're going down. Okay, let's see. Oh, ah, I can't get that. I want that treasure so badly. I know that's gotta be something good. So we go up into this duct here. I don't think we're immune to enemy encounters even though we're in there. Took a ladder. Another ladder. And we're down here. Okay, let's uh, let's check the doors first. Um, okay, I'm not entirely sure which one of those I want to take. Let me check. I got a the old Braddy Games player's guide out, but uh, their maps are terrible, so I don't think this is really going to do me much good. But uh, let's. get a feel for uh, which uh, one of those these shafts I want to take. I don't want to take the second one yet because that one's actually the right one but I want treasure so let's try the uh, third one. I'm gonna just take a gamble. See if I'm right or not. Probably not. Yes! Oh hey alright! I got the thief glove. Uh, that's awesome. When I get to... Uh, I'm gonna be turning Ferris into a thief again pretty soon. And when I do that, that'll be a great piece of equipment to equip on her. Alright, I'm not sure if there's any other good treasure to be had over there, but... I'll be sure to check it out, just in case. Alrighty. Uh, that's... Let's check our elevators now. Alright, that's a one-way trip. Alrighty, let's see where we're going here. Alright, cool. Got a green beret. Okay, that's gotta be good. Who needs that? Um, got to Lena. Actually, that would probably be best served for Bar. Uh, he can't even equip it. Never mind. Ferris, can you equip Lena? It is. That's very nice, though. That's a it's a good piece of equipment there. I'm not sure if it increases HP like it does in uh, Final Fantasy VI. Uh, why not? I'll just I'll kill these guys real quick. See, look at that. That's awesome. You just wail away on your party members and give them more HP. It, it's almost kind of like Final Fantasy 2 in a sense. You could beat yourself up in that game and make your max HP higher. And we got a speed potion, which we can't do anything with yet. So let's take the elevator back downstairs, or upstairs. Alright, what's behind door number three? 
surely there's something down here we can make use of. Some more treasure, perhaps. Um, actually, I think this is just a shortcut back. Yeah, whoop, or never mind, that's just a, the shortcut back up to the this area. If we took the uh, wrong uh, shoot over in this room here, coming up, this one. Let's try path number four. Well, oh, that's probably not going to do me any good. I might be going in the wrong direction here. I, or taking the long way around. Yeah, I just took the wrong long way around. Oh, well. Well, there's only one other shoot. Well, well two shoots we haven't taken yet, but... It, but the only thing good this map I have is good for is telling me which one is the right one, but it doesn't really... Man, those... I don't know how... Those Brady game guys really phoned this guidebook in. Maybe it's because they had to split it up in half to share with Final Fantasy VI. And this... Okay, well that wasn't worth the, the trip there. Alrighty then. We're going to take the right path this time and progress into the dungeon. We haven't done this one yet. It's like Plinko. Let's go for $10,000. Yay, what's over here? Okay, this is where we came from. That we didn't we weren't we didn't have access to this door. We got a save point. I want to backtrack just a tiny bit and see if uh up a door. Alright, cool. We got a full moon. That's... Alright, what does the full moon do? And only a thief can equip that. Well, I'll be having Ferris as a thief shortly, so she'll make use of that. I was just starting to worry about not having a, a decent weapon for Ferris. Back up here, we got the save point. Alrighty, we don't really need to use a tent, so I'll just save my progress there, just so we have it. Alright, and we got a maze of switches to deal with. Alrighty, slide that in place. Come over here. Look at that. This is nice and high tech. Alrighty. Well, that was a pretty good combination there. Okay, that's just a way to allow you to backtrack to the exit if you wanted to go back to the save point, which we don't really need to do this switch and we'll ride all the way over here and it's a good thing we flipped that switch earlier so we can get another elixir alrighty alrighty well before I got so rudely interrupted there beyond this door is the boss of the steamship I almost said fire ship there but same difference and this is where we we are going to cut off for today next time we will confront the queen. I believe she she must be the one in here. And uh, see if we can uh, stop the fire crystal from shattering. Alright, this has been Phoenix Down with Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I will see you guys next time.